myself time to try everything so I can give you guys a review on things. Um, first I wanted to start out with skincare. Um, now with a lot of these different makeup looks, especially the special effects one that I do, uh, some of the paints are hard to get off. So whenever I'm washing my face, you know, my skin is extremely dry anyways. Um, so my skin has been wrecked for a couple weeks now and I haven't been able to find anything high end or low end. Um, it was moisturizing enough. Um, so a couple days ago, I found First Aid Beauty, or they call it Fab, and I got this at Sephora. Um, it's supposed to be no, par no parabens, harsh chemicals, or colorants. Um, now I put this on a couple days ago, and my skin has been perfect. Um, it feels better because my skin was getting quite irritated with all of the special effects makeups, the body paints, the Mayron palettes, and all of that stuff. Um, so I really, really like these products. Um, this is the first one that I've tried. And like I said, it's First Aid Beauty. So I think I'm going to go back and get the cleanser. Um, but this is some serious moisture. Um, when you open it up, it's kind of like a tub. So I've been slathering this on my face and my neck. Um, and like I said, I notice the difference instantly. Normally after I get out of the shower and I've scrubbed the makeup off, and I've had to use oil-based cleansers to get some of the product off. My face feels really dry, really stiff. So immediately I'll put this on and um, it really works. So I'd recommend trying this if you have extremely dry skin. All right, next we'll go with the eyebrows. Now these are the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencils. And you guys know that I'm usually an eyebrow powder kind of girl, um, but these have quickly become my new favorite. Um, very, very big, big, uh, big variety of shades so you'll be able to find one to match your eyebrow color or the color that you're going for. Um, now they do have a lot of ash tones which most people's eyebrows are ash or cool tones so they do have lots to choose from. It comes in a pencil and it's a retractable pencil so it's a very very fine tip so that way whenever you're drawing it on you're not going to overdraw or take too big a sections, too big a chunks, make it look really fake. So I really like that it's a very small point and it's retractable so you only just pump a little bit up at a time when you're drawing your brows on and on the other end it's got a brow brush that you can just kind of comb through and soften any hard edges that you have now um, these are pretty stay proof I mean I wear these you know when I go to work and I'm gone for about 12 hours and they stay on all day um, so these have kind of been replacing my eyebrow powders lately so um, check out some of her products um, this is the only thing I've really tried. I know she's got several eyebrow things. She does have eyebrow powders too and I have tried those and I definitely like those, but I'm really liking the Brow Wiz pencils. Alright, next we're going to talk about eyeliners. This is my Lorac Front of the Line Pro Felt Tip Liner and I believe this is the color black. Um, I love this so much. This is probably about the fourth one that I've gone through in the last couple of months. A um, quick note about these, whenever you're storing felt tip liners, always make sure that you store them down like this. If you put them upright, the product's going to go to the bottom and it's going to look like your pen's dry when it's really not. I like these because the tip is really flexible. So you can get a nice straight black line. It's very easy because the tip is soft to get a really nice flick if you're trying to do a cat eye. See how flexible that is? It's just, it's really nice. I like these ones as opposed to the ones that are harder applicators. Um, because as we get older and our skin gets a little bit looser, those harder applicators have a tendency to skip across your lash line. Um, and these softer ones just glide along a little bit more smoothly and they have a little bit more give. So two thumbs up on the Lorac front of the line eyeliner. And this is also pretty waterproof. Um, definitely have to use a eye makeup remover to get this off. Next I want to talk about the Revlon Color Burst Lip Pencils. Um, now these is the color Coquette. Now they have, I think, three different sections. I'm trying to picture the store. Like three different rows of these kind of lip pencils. These are the newest ones out and these ones have a lot more shine and a lot more shimmer. The other ones, I think there's like a matte pencil um, that doesn't have as much shine, but these are really my new favorites. And I only have two colors because every time I try to go and buy them, the whole section is wiped out. And of course, the only one they ever have left is the one that somebody's already opened and put on their mouth or wherever they put it. So, if you happen to find these Revlon Color Burst pencils anywhere, I highly recommend you try them. They're very, very pigmented. They go on super, super smooth and creamy. Really nice high shine. And the good news is, is whenever they fade off, they almost have a stain 
to them so that even when they come off you still have a little bit of color left. So as soon as I can find more of these in stock, I'm definitely going to get more colors. Um, I'm really loving uh, these Revlon lip pencils right now. So if you can find them, pick up a couple. And the ones that are in the metallic case are the ones that I've tried. I know they have some that are non-metallic and I think they even have another section. So some of them are matte, but I really like these ones because they almost have a lip gloss built into them. All right, and sticking with lip pencils, these are the Bite Beauty High Pigment Pencils, and I'm wearing the color Corvina today. Um, I really, really like these. These almost are kind of similar to this. Um, one thing I did notice about these is that they melt very easily. That wouldn't um, keep me from buying them, though. I did just leave them in the car for a minute, and they're very soft and very easy to apply, so they melt pretty quickly. So definitely don't leave them in your car or anywhere hot because they're very, very soft. Um, now they come um, in a pencil-like shape and you can actually twist the bottom to get more product out. Um, very, very pretty colors though. I've had this one on for about two hours now and it really hasn't budged. My lips don't feel dry. Um, it's been on there, it's creamy, feels nice on my lips. So I'll probably get a couple more of these colors because the only thing that I'm concerned about is how easily they melt. Um, even if you were putting the cap on and you just touch the corner, you almost will chip the product. I've done that twice. So when you're putting the cap on, be very careful because the product is very soft. Um, Sephora just started carrying bite products, or at least my Sephora did. Um, so I'll definitely pick a couple more of these up. Um, but I'm loving the gloss and the shine and the staying ability of these. So I'll be picking up a couple more of these. Alright, next I've been using the Lash Out Butterfly Mascara from L'Oreal. Um, I like this. I still don't think I like it as much as my Maybelline Lash Discovery or my MAC Hot and Naughty. Um, basically it's got a rounded edge and then it's got a straight edge. So you can apply your product on the rounded edge and you can use the back of the brush. It's almost like a comb and that's going to give you separation of your lashes. So I do like the brush. Um, I do like the product. I feel like it can have a tendency to get a little bit clumpy. So you do have to work fast with it once you get it applied and you've got to comb it through your lashes. I think though when this tube runs out, I do like it enough that I would buy it again. And I think it comes in other colors besides black. I think they have like a dark brown and some other colors. But it's pretty decent mascara. Still not my favorite. I think Maybelline Lash Discovery and MAC Hot Naughty are still my top two. But this one's pretty decent. Alright, so the next products I'm going to review are by one particular company. And the name of the company is Mally. Now they sell Mally products on QVC and at Ulta. Friday Night Beauty, QVC, I sit and I watch for hours. I probably should really get a life on Friday nights. Um, but I do enjoy watching Mally. She has really good tips and she's very entertaining to watch. So I figured I would try some of her products. I've heard really good things about her Starlight liner. So I got a couple of those. Uh, this product in particular was interesting to me. It's a highlight and contour stick and there's also a blush include, included. Um, this is in the color lighter. Um, I've been playing around with these and I feel like probably wouldn't buy them again. I think they're good, maybe beginner friendly, but one of my main problems with them is that the stick is so wide. I feel like if you're trying to contour the side of your nose, unless you have a huge nose, I mean that is a big jumbo stick. I mean it's almost the size of sidewalk chalk. Um, I think the concept is good. I think for beginners, I think it would be easy to use and understand the concept, but I just feel like they're a little chunky. Now, I've been using them the last couple of days. This would be your contour stick, and they do twist up from the bottom. And this is like, and this is in the shade lighter. Now, they are very nice and they're very blendable, and this is your highlighter. And then it comes with a peach blush. I'm actually wearing all three of these right now. I think the colors are really pretty. Um, the one thing that I noticed when I was putting them on today over my makeup is they seem to really pick up and catch my foundation and stuff that I already had on. And it almost seemed to dry the tip of the sticks out a little bit. I could probably just scrape them off or wipe them clean with a paper towel and it might fix the problem. I'm going to take a couple more weeks and try them out, but I, th I think they're user friendly and I would probably purchase them. I don't know that I would carry them in my kit professionally because there's other products that I like more, but I think for beginners, it's something worth trying. 
And I do have a video on these on how I use them, so if you'd like to look that up. And I got these actually on QVC. I don't think they're in Ulta yet. They are really easy to blend. I just put them on, you know, in stick form and use my beauty blender to blend them. So I almost think they're kind of dummy proof. I think even if you put too heavy of a line on and really weren't blending well, you could probably still get it blended. So if you're very new to highlighting and contouring, you might want to check these out. I think they're good. I mean, I don't think I'd buy this again, but I think if you're a beginner, it's something to look at. All right, next I ordered this 12 piece set and there is six eyeliners and six lipsticks. I don't know why she calls them lipsticks because to me they're more like a lip gloss. I'll show you that in a second and swatching them. And it came with six of the Starlight eyeliners. It came with this little, I don't know if it's a purse or a makeup carrier. I probably won't use it at all. I don't really care for it, but it did come with this. They all came inside there. Um, it did come with six eyeliners. Um, what I do like about these eyeliners is this little brush on the end. So if you're doing your upper lash line and you're using a color and you want to blend out the line, you have about 30 to 45 seconds to use that brush and smoke out that line. So I do like that feature of it. I know when I was watching on QVC, she said you had about 30 seconds. I never really felt like they dried all the way to where I couldn't move them at all. Like it definitely doesn't lock in place like a liquid liner. So if that's what you're looking for, I don't think that that is this product. Um, they're okay. I was hoping when she said waterproof and budge proof, I know on QVC she's sitting there rubbing it furiously and it's not going anywhere. And yes, I definitely still have a stain there, but it definitely is softening up when I rub my hand over it. So I don't know, maybe the magic of television, she did something different, but I let them set for even 10 minutes and tried to rub my finger over them and they definitely budge. So she says budge proof, not so much. There are really pretty colors. I'll go ahead and swatch all of these for you guys. All right, now these are her liquid lipsticks. Um, she says these are supposed to have really good staying power too. I kind of felt like it was just like wearing a gloss. Um, I don't know that I would call them lipsticks. I definitely feel like they're more of a gloss. Now they feel really, really good on the lips, but I definitely felt like I had to reapply them. Like if I went out to a movie or dinner, I mean in an hour I was pulling out the stick. Now they come with, let's see which one I've already used. A spun, or excuse me, a brush tip applicator and you twist the product up. And this is in the color Epic Pink. Now this is actually a really, really pretty color, but like I said, it's more like a gloss to me and she's calling them lipsticks. But I mean, you do get pretty good color payoff and they do feel really nice on the lips. So they're not drying at all. Um, so I definitely would buy these again, but staying power is not so great, but anytime you're wearing a lip gloss, unless it's MAC Pro Long Wear Lip Glass, that's about the only one that will stay on forever, other than the lip pencils that I showed you. Those stay on pretty well too. Um, but these are pretty nice. Um, they have a nice taste in them. They don't have a really bad taste or too fruity or anything. Um, so I would definitely try these again, and I'll go ahead and swatch all these so you guys can see the colors. Alright, so this first color, this is Epic Pink, and they are really pretty. Like I said, they're a really nice shimmer to them, but a lipstick to me has a little more staying power than a gloss, so she would just change the name. I think that would probably be better. Um, this is Epic Pink, and then we've got No Way Rose. That's this second color here. I don't know if these are available at Sephora, or excuse me, Ulta because this did come with a QVC, it was like that 12 piece set. And this is Wild Tulip. I think Wild Tulip is probably the sheerest of all of them. I think these would all be beautiful over a lipstick too if you were looking to add a little bit more shine. And then the next color is Madison Avenue Mauve. That's this one here. And then this coral color, which actually this coral color is really, really pretty. And this is Mandarin. And this one is absolutely beautiful. This is um, Rouge. Really a pretty shimmery ruby color. I can't wait to try this one out with something. But I think that one's really, really pretty. And like I said, I don't think these are at Ulta. I think you have to get the 12 piece set on QVC if you wanted to try these. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some swatches from the Mally liners. Now these are the ones that I got at Ulta that don't have the brush. And the first one I'm gonna show you, I believe this is Midnight. And this is that black one here. I don't notice the difference between Midnight and the one that came with the 12 piece set, which is Noor. Um, pretty much same consistency, same color. So maybe just different packaging, different name. Uh, the color beside that one is Royal Plum. 
But this one's definitely a lot richer and a lot more of a dark purple than the purple that comes with the kit. And I think that's purple axed or purple axed. Um, but this purple is definitely a lot more pigmented. And I do like this purple. This one is pretty. And then again, this is the one that came with the kit and the brush. And this is Noor. This is the purple that came with the kit and it's Purple X. And it's definitely not as pigmented as the one I got on its own at Ulta. And the silver color is called Platinum. I really like this color. I don't know that I would use it, well, maybe for an eyeliner. Probably to fill in my lower lid to go over it with a silver or to give it a pop of color. I think it would be pretty to use for that or as a base for a silver eyeshadow. And the same with this um, almost turquoise green color. And this is Trendsetter. Really sparkly, really pigmented. This one's really pretty. This would probably be good for an eyeshadow base too. Or teal liner on the bottom could be pretty. And then you have your brown color. And this is Brown Noser. This is a really pretty soft brown shade. Um, I think it would be good if you're looking to not do something so harsh like a black. This is a good color to try. And I'm also wearing uh, Brazen Blue today. I do have some um, eyeshadow over top of it from Too Faced, but this is in the color Brazen Blue. Um, this one didn't come out as bright blue as I thought it would. Um, it's a little more waxy than the others. Um, I have a hard time finding a blue that I really like. Um, this one's just okay. I also have the Urban Decay one. I think it's, is it Cobalt? I don't remember the name, um, but this one's okay. Um, definitely with the 12-piece set, there's some hits and some misses. Um, it's worth checking out though. I mean, I think the price that I got, you would have ended up paying that for just four eyeliners and maybe one lipstick. So it was a pretty good deal. Hope you guys enjoyed my review mini haul video. There'll be more to come in the future. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe.